Okay folks, this is now on 3S. Uh, I'm running a 3S 5200 MAH uh, 45C, I think. Um, again, I was having problems with the power cutting out to the motor. Um, maybe it's high drain from the sound module. Maybe it's from the LED. Maybe just something bad somewhere. I don't know what's happening. So, But it's quite annoying that the 2S LiPo couldn't last beyond uh, you know, it started draining to 3.9, 3 3.8 maybe, and then you start started getting some uh, power cut, you lose throttle, so this is on 3S. Uh, we'll see how it goes, uh, I don't want to damage anything, but um, I want to see whether the same problem happens, whether there's any um, power cutting out to the throttle, okay? So just bear with me, let's try and run it for about 5 minutes to 7 minutes. <laughs> Keep it simple just on this, uh, this pavement here because the gravel tends to get stuck where that rear drive uh, shaft is. Oops, crap. There goes my body shell. the uh, weather contributing to the power cut? I don't think so. I'm going to take the same route. So keep everything almost the same. From here we're going to go gun the throttle a little bit. So currently this is now 3S but I'm only going like maybe quarter, half throttle, half throttle, half throttle, oh shit. Just have bad life force guys. Guys, this thing is a little harder, harder to control than my X Max. It seems a little bit better. Maybe I'm having, a, I do have battery problems. The two packs are not working well. This seems to be okay. I don't have any power cutting out, guys. So might be a, might be a battery issue. I'm still getting used to uh, to this camera underneath the transmitter. So far, so good. Maybe it is indeed the lipos.
I'm almost full throttle now. I'm gonna go slow so I don't wreck anything. Whoopsie. It's hard to see this thing. Okay, I think the main problem was the batteries. These batteries are okay. Okay, so uh, I think what was happening earlier on was my lipos was bad, so the discharge was not correct. I probably have to junk those two lipos. I did run those hard on the whole house for many, many months. Um, here is the uh, negative point, of course, uh, spray painting right on top of your body shell. Once it turns turtles and it flips, you get to see all the nice colors underneath again. So I have blue scuff marks now, uh, but that's fine. I think we can. Uh, I can just touch that up with a little bit of. Uh, black uh, you know marker or something like that uh, but overall the truck is tougher to handle it slides out a lot more um, because of I think the rear fixed rear axle there's no diff there um, uh, but the tires are, are good though I like I like how I like how the, the tires look like uh, it's more from a aesthetic perspective performance I really have no idea it slides around a lot on this uh, very loose uh, loose surface here okay um, on that smooth uh, pavement there, um, well, the truck tends to want to flip a little bit, but not as bad as the previous tires. The previous tires really do roll a lot, I think, because the sidewalls were a bit too soft. Okay, so this is this was on 3S. In fact, uh, the 3S run was a lot better. I'm surprised that the 3S uh, was running a lot better versus the uh, 2S LiPo's. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Monster XRC signing out.